In this video, I'm going to go through two examples of curve sketching using the three techniques of function symmetry, looking at small and large values of x, and differentiating the function. For a first example, let's consider the function f of x equals 1 minus x squared plus x to the power of 4. So the first thing to notice about this function is an example of an even function, because it only involves even powers of x. That means that we can sketch the function for positive values of x, and then deduce the value for negative values of x from the symmetry. When x is very small, we can see that the function is approximately equal to 1. When x gets very large, then the x to the power of 4 term is the largest, and that approaches infinity as x goes to infinity. So for large x, f of x tends to infinity. So we can immediately draw the function when x is 0, takes the value 1. And when x is very large, the function approaches infinity. If we look at the derivative of the function, f dash of x, f dash of x is equal to minus 2x plus 4x cubed. And we can write that as 2x times minus 1 plus 2x squared. So we can see that when x is small but positive, then this part is positive and this part is negative when x is small, and therefore f dash of x is negative. So the function is decreasing when x is positive but small. When x is equal to 1 over root 2, the derivative of this function is 0, so we have a minimum when x equals 1 over root 2. And at this point, when x equals 1 over root 2, if we plug that into the original function f, we can find that the function f is equal to 3 quarters. So the function has a minimum here, becomes increasing again, so the function looks something like this. So that's the shape of the function for positive values of x. And then for negative values of x, we can use the fact that the function is even and reflect in the line x equals 0. And complete the function by drawing the same shape function in the reflected form. So that's the shape of the function f of x equals 1 minus x squared plus x to the power of 4. For a second example, let's consider the function f of x equals x divided by 1 plus x squared. Now this is an example of an odd function, since if we change the sign of x, we change the sign of the function. When x is very small, the x squared is small compared to the 1, and so the function is approximately equal to x. When x is very large, the x squared is large compared with the 1, and therefore the function is approximately equal to x over x squared, which is 1 over x. So we can sketch the function when x is very small, where it's approximately equal to x, so f equals x. And when x is very large, f of x is 1 over x, which is a decreasing function, something like this. To find out more about the function, we look at the derivative, f dash of x. And working out f dash of x for this function, using the quotient rule, we get 1 times 1 plus x squared. minus this function underneath differentiated, that gives us 2x, times the function on top, which is x, all divided by 1 plus x squared squared. Yeah. 
And simplifying that expression, we get 1 plus x squared minus 2x squared on top. So that's 1 minus x squared divided by 1 plus x squared squared. So this gives us the information about the slope of the function. So when x is small, the slope of the function is positive. When x equals 1, the slope of the function is 0. So when x equals 1, the function is leveled out to a flat function like this. And then when x is greater than 1, this function becomes negative. So f dash of x is negative, and the function starts to decrease. So the function looks something like that. So it has a maximum here when x equals 1. And finally, to complete the function, we use the fact that the function has this odd symmetry. So that means we draw the function when x is negative simply by uh, rotating this picture by 180 degrees. So when x is negative, the function follows a similar form and looks like that. So in summary, this is the sketch of the function f of x equals x divided by 1 plus x squared.